Mark is out flying the drone in the fog. I am laying in bed attempting to watch the sunrise, but as you saw, or didn't see, maybe because the footage wasn't great, <laughs> it's just foggy, which sucks. Yeah, it's so nice that I can just lay in bed though and <laughs> watch it, I don't have to actually get up. I'm supposed to go running in a little bit, but I'm just gonna close my eyes and wait until someone wakes me up. <laughs> we'll see you in this, we'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> guys oh so the fog kind of rolled out and now it's beautiful here how long we run we're doing uh, 20k or miles I mean yeah whatever and <laughs> I say 20 I mean two I can't get over it So we knocked out a solid, not really that solid actually. <laughs> so we did three or four kilometers and then we walked one. But it was nice, the countryside was beautiful. Best talk to Patrick. Yeah, we were hanging out with Patrick. He's here as an intern, finishing up school. He's really in his last week. Yeah, so he'll be done and he'll be off to do great things here in Thailand. I'm not sure what activities we'll be doing here today. I guess there was a possible bike. No, Biking, <laughs> kayaking possibly. What did you think of the run, Amanda? When I was leaving, leaving you behind in the dust. Yeah, that's what happened. There were some, uh, not wild dogs, but there were some territorial mm -hmm. dogs on the running route. I ran like up on it. It was just laying there by the road. I didn't really see it until I was right next to it. And it gave me the lip curl. Then you jumped. It threatened, no, and then I was like, what? Like, what? And then uh, Patrick ran over and he did one of these things. Like the four, he used the Jedi mind trick on the dog. Clairvoyance enough to find the rebel's hidden fort. Look at my latte. Yum. So we're trying to go biking. As soon as Amanda gets ready, she needs lip gloss to look soy muck. That's Thai for very beautiful. Yeah, so we're gonna go jump on some bicycles, do a little bike tour of the beautiful countryside. Uh, I think everybody's waiting for us, probably. Got the sunblock on. I had, had to force him in it. Well, I had, Amanda wouldn't put any in. On him. And because we brought limited clothes, <laughs> I am wearing the same sweaty clothes that I ran in this morning. But it's either that. So we wear clean clothes. Yeah, it's not, we only have like three shirts. I can't use them all in one day. They got the gear. Shirts. Shirt. Let's see what Patrick's shirt says. Hi. Active Thailand Adventure Tours. Hello. Too bad you won't be able to hang out with Patrick because he'll be back in Chiang Rai already. Hey, 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 what's up guys? So these are the wheels. Trek. How many miles, how many kilometers are we doing on the bikes? Maybe 10 kilometers. Sorry, Tasty, but I've traded you in for this bad boy. Mark's here with the drone. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful out here, but it's as beautiful as it is, it's equally hot. <laughs> Some awesome shots, really excited. So this is what our bikes look like after a little venture. Look at my legs. 
It looks like I pooped on myself. Oh my god, that was so fun. Like all the mud puddles. <laughs> that was awesome. I love like mountain biking, like running, going through the mud. Maybe you should get a mountain bike. I know, it's so much fun. Didn't crash this time like in, uh, like in Bolivia. <laughs> we have 20 minutes or so. We're gonna eat. We're gonna and eat then... food and then we're, we're all heading up to a dam. We're just gonna kayak out on the dam. Yeah, I think you can see the dam from here, I think. Busy day. Busy and fun. Ooh, we got some nice lunch, some fried rice, and some sausage. We're gonna enjoy a little meal and then head off to the dam. Can you guys hear that? It's nothing. Just birds. Oh, it's so nice here. We're not gonna wanna leave. It would be so cool to have like a couple's retreat, do fun activities during the day, in the evening, maybe come back and just edit. Because <laughs> we haven't had time to edit, because we've just been, you know, driving on a motorbike and doing stuff. We're so behind on footage, but this would be an awesome place to just come and focus. All you hear are the birds, the birds and the bees. We're going to get headed to the dam now and do some kayaking. Ooh, on full bellies. Happy birthday to you. There goes Alex, vlogging. YouTube life. There's always room for cake. I think it's coconut. The cake is delicious. And Lynn was telling us that the, um, the green comes from the leaf pandan or by toy. <laughs> oh God! Oh. 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 oh shit! What is it doing? Oh. <laughs> All right. So what was it? I think a uh, wolf snake. Wolf? Yeah. Come on, wolf snake. Oh God! Wow. So I think it was serious. We're on a little hike before we go to the dam, and we just saw a snake coming at us. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We Not survived. Happy. Yes. Alright. I didn't actually just grab. Paul, nice and cute. Snake ring. They're going. Hi. They couldn't be any more perfect. No rain. We just saw a big snake. Yeah. Alright. We are getting ready. Moving very quickly, getting ready to get in the water on the kayaks, and Mark's learning how to paddle because he doesn't really know how. Amanda. What? How do you feel? I feel fine. You're more paranoid than I am. Well, I'm paranoid because we have the GH5, a drone, your phone. We have so much shit. There's so many things that could go wrong. But they're not going to because we're expert kayakers. How are you guys doing? Pretty damn good. Keep going, keep working. <sighs> Bumper kayaks. Amanda's so good at kayaking. I can just sit back here and record the whole time. No, you're doing great, keep going. So Mark's about to fly the drone from the kayak. This is gonna be a first. Okay, there he goes. Like, I don't want to move. I don't want to turn because I don't want the boat to flip. So I'm very still. Look at him through the camera. Dying. Can he do it under pressure? Um, really? Okay, we have to put you down. Me? Ah! <laughs> Got it. Wow, that was success. Yes. 
Good view. Back is getting a little tired. Oh, but I actually didn't paddle for the last 20 minutes. Yeah. Amanda did all the work. Yeah. Well, I paddled all the way out here. I hope. I think you were just going through the motions. Whatever, it still helps. All right, I'll, I'll come and save the day. time. Oh, and I learned how to kayak a little more efficiently today. Mark gave me some tips. Ooh, and he's about to... Whoa. Thanks for helping me be more efficient. The trick to kayaking is long and strong. It's just like rowing. So you want to get your paddle in deep. Long pulls, not like the little... That's normally how I paddle. But Amanda taught me not to. Okay. I'm not impressed. Beautiful. It'd be fun to go fishing. That. Oh, wow, what a day. Man, I am tired now. No, how badly do you just wanna lay in bed? No, <laughs> just wanna get out of these wet clothes. Oh, my shoes are soaked. It's gonna feel so nice to shower and get cleaned up. But he doesn't have shoes because he was wearing them while we were kayaking. Yeah, my shoes have basically have been wet this almost entire trip. We're gonna go to a restaurant right down the road with Alex. For some barbecue. Is that what it was, barbecue? Yeah. If you are in Chiang Mai, come north near this dam <laughs> and this national park. It's only about an hour north of Chiang Mai. It's beautiful, it's quiet. There's not a lot of travelers, not a lot of backpackers. Not most yet. of the, the <laughs> yeah, most of the people we've seen here have all been locals. If you're looking for just kind of like an out of the way area that's still kind of unknown, come here because it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yes. Le Coco Tea Resort. Yes. <laughs> so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Subscribe if you're not already a beautiful beastie. But you should be, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs>